Hey everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 favorite blushes. I have been loving blushes lately. I will not go out the door without a blush on, so I thought it'd be a great time to share with you the things that I have been grabbing recently. So I have been just in love with all of these blushes. So I have everything from cheaper, more affordable drugstore products, everything up to I have a few MAC, Tarte, higher end products. So let's just jump in. We'll start with some of the more affordable and we'll work our way up to the MAC and the Tarte and that sort of thing. So Ulta. Some of the Ulta products are hit and miss, I will say that, but their cheek colors, the ones that look like this, they're, they're quite small, they look just like their eyeshadows, but it'll say cheek color right on the front. I have found they have great color payoff, love them. I have a few of these, but Afterglow, which is this one, is one of my absolute favorites. And I'm going to hold it a little bit on a side because you'll see the color more true. It's a little bit darker of a pink, and it's got a very subtle orange shimmer in it, but I found once you have it on your skin, you don't even notice that. So this is Afterglow from Ulta. Such a pretty color. I think this would look really great on any skin tone, really. It's not too dark, not too light. Really not a whole lot of shimmer, but it does have a great payoff for being an Ulta product, and it's, being, and it's quite affordable. So that's number one. Uh, let's see, number two, Fox in a Box. You can pick these up. This is Hard Candy is the brand. It's just called Fox in a Box. You can pick these up at Wal Walmart. That's where you where they sell Hard Candy. And the packaging, first of all, let me just tell you, super adorable. Pink box, little black polka dots all around it. So it's a cardboard box and it just has like a magnetic closure. And it comes with its own brush, and I tried it out, as you can see, and I'll use it if I don't have my brush with me, but I do prefer my own brush that I'm used to. I just, I'm more comfortable with it, but it does work out just fine. So inside, this one is called Truth or Dare, and it happens to have a blush and a bronzer, but I am including it here because I've been using it a lot lately. You can go ahead and just get the blush if you want, just the bronzer, or you can mix them together. I usually mix them together and get just a blushy, bronzy color. So this is Truth or Dare from Hard Candy. This is such a pretty color. And there's a lot of product in here. I have hit pan on one of these a while back, and it took me a long time. These go down pretty far. So this is a really affordable, I want to say these are $6. Uh, yeah, they're $6. So that's pretty affordable for how much product you get. And they have, I want to say, five or six different fox in a box, little boxes like this, different colors. So that's a really fun product to get. Next are two NYX products. I'm always talking about NYX products, how much I love them. They've never let me down. So I have the Mosaic Powder. This is called Paradise. And these are fun because they have the four shades of pink and then just like a cream color on the inside. And these are meant to be swirled together to create like a perfect cheek color. Obviously, you're not supposed to pick and get one little color. I guess you could do that if you wanted. But I swirl them all together. And yes, this red one in this specific color, the Paradise one, is a bit dark, and even when you swirl it, it's a bit dark, so you do have to blend really well with this, but the color payoff is great, the lasting power, awesome, and again, NYX has never let me down. So this is Paradise. They do have, I think there's a total of four different shades of the mosaic powders from NYX, so that is one of my next favorites, and then their stick blushes are amazing. I have just tried this. I think it's been a little over a month now since I purchased this, but I have worn it enough to know I am in love. And I'm going to be pick I actually have another one. Where's it at? This one that I also have been loving, but this one I decided to show you. This is called Orchid, and it's just a really orangey, shimmery color. I don't know if I I want to swatch this one. I don't know. It's got a very it's very pigmented. And a lot of the more creamy blushes are. You just have to blend it out, but because it's a creamy consistency, not just a powder, it is going to soak into your skin kind of like a foundation would or a concealer, and it is going to last you all day. I am telling you, these stick blushes last forever. They're pretty affordable. I want to say my Ulta sells them for $5.99, and I, wanna, I think most Ultas have the same price. I'm not sure, though, on that one. But where I purchased it at Ulta, it was $5.99, and sometimes they have deals. So that's pretty good for these, and there, I want to say there's quite a bit of product in these. I want, yeah, you got quite a bit in here. This should last me a long time. You don't need a lot, obviously, because of how pigmented they are. 
Next, I have a Milani Baked Blush. I'm not sure if this is from their new collection or not because I have some new, some old, but this is called Rose Dioro. And this is super fun because it's kind of that swirly, I don't know what they call this. There's a name that they call it when it looks like this. But it's got the reds, the pinks, the golden colors, and a very subtle shimmer to it. But I am wearing this today. I wanted you to see this one because this has been one of my absolute favorites lately. And it does have a mirror on the bottom and a little brush, but as you can see, I've never even used the brush because I do, like I said, prefer my own brush um, for using my blush. So this is just absolutely amazing. Milani is a great brand. Definitely love their baked blushes. Next is another baked blush from Physicians Formula. I've had this one forever. I think I even picked this up last summer. Um, I've had it that long. And it's again, it has a mirror underneath and it had a brush, but I've had it so long I don't even know where the brush went anymore. But this is called Baked Ginger. Yeah, it's all worn away. But I think it's called Baked Ginger. This is so, so pretty. It's just red. It's got these little streaks of the um, cream colored. You just blend it together. It has a very subtle shimmer to it. More of a glow with this one. This has been my go-to. If I don't feel like worrying if that blush is going to look okay today on me, this has been my go-to. looks great on me any, any day. Next, I have Hot Mama from The Balm. The Balm has been like exploding recently on YouTube. Before it was a little bit more hush hush, no one really knew about The Balm, I guess. I don't know. But because they've been easier to get at TJ Maxx recently, they're very, very affordable because TJ Maxx will mark it down. A lot of people have been talking about The Balm. But this is their blush. It's called Hot Mama, like I said. So, so pretty. Just a really orangey pink color. Definitely has some orange tones in this one. So pretty. Not too dark, but it is going to have that pigment to it um, that's going to last all day. It does come with a little mirror in it. Again, has the magnet closure. I don't know. I think this is the only blush that The Balm makes, Hot Mama. Let me know in the comments below if you own another blush by The Balm that is not Hot Mama because I'd be interested in knowing because I do love The Balm. Next, I have MAC, and I do have two. I couldn't decide between these two, so I just went ahead and showed you them both, but they're both kind of on two ends of the spectrum. This one is a very pink color. This is called Well Dressed, and everyone, I feel like everyone talks about this one, but the reason why is because it really is amazing. It's a very light pink color, extremely light. When I first saw it, I thought it wasn't going to show up on my cheeks. It is so light, but it is so pretty. It is going to show up on your cheeks. You, you may have to apply two coats where you might not usually have to do that with another blush, but it's such a nice light pink color. Perfect for, I say when you're going maybe to a wedding, you just want a nice pinky color. Nothing too dramatic or dark. Well dressed is the blush for that sort of event and I've been loving it. And next is Sun Basque. I believe this is one of their sheer tone shimmer blushes so it does have a shimmer to it and it's a little bit darker it's more on the brown it has brown tones in it bronzy tones and a little bit of shimmer but it is technically one of their blushes and I do wear it on the apples of my cheeks where I wear my blushes and it is so pretty it isn't that dark the payoff isn't that dark as long as you don't cake it on obviously so I have been loving this Sun Basque by MAC, one of my absolute favorites from their Sheer Tone Shimmer line. I have a couple of these that I love, so that is one of my favorites. And then my last favorite is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush, and this is Glisten. And I recently asked in a video if they had others that didn't have shimmer in it because I really didn't know this was my first one. And Doll Face, there's other ones, but Doll Face doesn't. And I looked at it last time I was at Ulta and that's going to be my next. That's on my want list. So I think I'll be getting Doll Face next. But I have Glisten right now and I have been loving it. It has a great 12 hour stay like the name says. So, so pretty. This one again has a little bit of shimmer, but it's meant to. Certain ones do, certain ones don't. Love the payoff on it. Definitely has that. It's the Amazonian clay. I definitely notice a different texture to it compared to other blushes. Definitely recommend the Tarte Amazonian clay blushes. There's, I want to say there's 
8 to 10, don't quote me on that. There's quite a few different color choices, all different things from light to darker colors. So definitely try out one of these if you have not. Go into your local Ulta or Sephora and look at these and possibly try one of those out. I definitely recommend them. So. Those are my top 10 favorite blushes that I've been loving this spring and probably will definitely into the summer. So let me know in the comments below any of your favorite blushes or if you have a video up with your favorite blushes, leave it as a response and I will definitely love to watch it. So I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye guys.